Let's focus on the missing children case, officers. We have two children who are missing, a nine-year-old boy, Alex, and a four-year-old girl named Alyssa. But we don't have any good leads yet. As a chief of the Texas Police Department, I find it unacceptable. Did anyone find out where the children were last seen? Vice Chief James. Sir, I talked to their parents. They said their kids were playing in the park or playground when going missing. We should search the park and nearby areas for any clues. There would be people who might have seen something strange. Good idea, Rob. James, I need you to assign a team to search the park. Roger that, Chief. We need to get more details about the missing children as soon as possible. We should also tell the other police stations and ask for their help in finding the children. Has anyone talked to the kids' friends or classmates? Maybe they know something useful. Yes, I contacted the school. We'll also ask the classmates for any information. Great. Let's work together and find these children quickly. We need to bring them back to their families. I'll coordinate with the search team in the park and update everyone if we find anything important. Yes, keep me posted about any news. We have to act fast and search everywhere for them. Agreed. Our main goal is to bring the kids back safely. Let's do everything we can to find them. Linda comes to the police station. Excuse me, Officer James. I saw the car of the children missing case on the news. And I need to report something related to that case. Can I do that? Of course, miss. First, I need to know who you are. My name is Linda Holmer. I'm doing an internship at the City Publishing News. Okay, I see, Miss Linda. And how is the case related to you, miss? I live on 45th Sesame Street, near the park where the kids were last seen. Okay, now tell me what you know. Well, I saw a suspicious yellow car running through the park. I think it might be connected to the abduction. No way. Officer, what did you say? Oh, yeah, I said that's valuable information, Linda. Officer, you are right. I also thought so. That's why I'm here. Okay, let me make a phone call to check on it. Wait for me a few seconds. Hey, where are you going? I... I just... Come here. What do you want to say? I'm going home now. I still have some questions that I need to ask you. Which ones? I think I provided you with all the proof I have. About the car, what time did you see it? Around 6 p.m., I guess. It was the time when I was on my way home. Ah, I see. So it will not be related to the investigation of the nine-year-old boy. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Miss Linda, for your safety, let me take you home. Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine. What's wrong? Why do you keep backing away? Oh, you didn't mention it's a nine-year-old boy, did you? Stop running. It's a dead end. Nowhere to run. Officer James, can I ask a question? Of course, Linda. What would you like to know? I can tell you everything now. Why did you do all this? 
Well, it was my wife's desire to have kids, and I wanted to help her. I didn't mean for it to go this far, really. They're so poor, they can't provide a good life for the kids. My wife and I can certainly do better. How can you say something like that? I understand your wife's dream, but you can't just take kids away from their parents. That's illegal and unethical, James. I'm a policeman. Everything I do is justice. I will inform the sheriff of your heinous crimes. Go ahead. No one will believe you. It's my word against yours. Ooh. Actually, it's your word against yours. What? It's over, James. I understand your pain, but you cannot use that as an excuse to harm someone else. Oh, no. No. It turned out that Linda was a journalist, and her sister, Emmy, was the real witness. Because Emmy was afraid, she didn't go to report the case. She came home and told Linda everything. Linda has been investigating the case since the case was announced. She suspected this Mr. James, so she decided to try the trap with her sister. Emmy stayed at home to help, and Linda was just the bait. They wanted to catch him red-handed. James was arrested, and the remaining accomplice was quickly found. All the children were rescued safely. Case closed. Quiz time. Choose the correct answer. Number one. Who was kidnapped in the case? A. Linda and Emmy. B. Alex and Emmy. C. Alyssa and Alex. The correct answer is C. Alyssa and Alex. Number two. What car did Linda see in the park? A. A yellow taxi. B. A yellow car. C. A yellow bus. The correct answer is B. A yellow car. Number three. Where were the missing kids last seen? A. At the school. B. At the park. C. At the park and playground. The correct answer is C. At the park and playground. Number four. Emmy and Lisa wanted to catch James. A. Blue-handed. B. Red-handed. C. Brown-handed. The correct answer is B, red-handed. Number five. Why was Linda so certain James was involved in this case? A, because he told a lie. B, because he suddenly talked about the nine-year-old missing kid. C, because James blamed Linda. The correct answer is B because he suddenly talked about the nine-year-old missing kid. Number six. Who will have to face the consequences of their actions? A. Linda. B. James. C. David. The correct answer is B. James. Vocabulary. Missing children case, a situation where children have disappeared or gone missing. Investigate, to examine or inquire into a situation or event in order to gather facts and determine the truth. Lead or clue, a piece of information or clues that can help in solving a case or finding missing persons. Red-handed, to catch someone in the act of doing something wrong or illegal. Kidnapping or abduction. The crime of taking someone away by force, often for ransom or other illicit motives. 
illegal, contrary to or forbidden by law, not permitted or authorized. Thank <music> you.